Hello, my name is Lewis Talley with Source Solutions and today I want to talk a little bit about VMware HA. First I'd like to explain what HA is. HA or high availability is a protection mechanism for virtual machines. It is designed to take a number of different types of failures related to the physical host as well as the virtual machine itself. When a failure is detected, the virtual machine is restarted on another host. This is not intended to provide 100% or continuous uptime as there is a delay. So the setup that I'll be demonstrating you see here is that I have four physical hosts that are part of a cluster. So I have the Wonderware historian running as a virtual machine inside of that cluster and separate from the cluster I have another physical host that's running Wonderware in touch. For the purposes of the demonstration we're running current version of all technology and we're not leveraging system platform. So some key points no redundancy was utilized in either the InTouch product or the Historian product. So there are various levels of redundancy, whether you're talking about remote IDAS or IO failover. None of that was configured. So the idea here is we want to show pure uh, what VMware gives us with HA. So understanding that the Wonderware Historian pulls for data in a non-system platform architecture. So the historian does not get data pushed to it, it pulls for data. The high availability settings were used were the defaults or mid-range. They can be tuned to adjust for sensitivity. So d data loss was about 2 minutes and 40 seconds and the time to restart the image was about 70 seconds. So included in this presentation will be a link to the VMware website where you can find the requirements for HA. Now let's see what it looks like in a demo. Okay, we're now looking at two separate environments. In the foreground screen, you'll notice the InTouch Reactor demo running the classic example InTouch application where we're capturing data in the form of the reactor level. Data is being sampled delta on change and if we shift into the background window which I'll move over top here you'll see that I'm capturing a trend from the reactor level so this is the historian and this is a separate machine that represents the InTouch application so just a very basic trend just illustrating the level going up and down so now we're going to simulate a failure. Just like in the picture, we can see my physical host that I have set up in my high availability cluster, and the historian happens to be running on host 4. So we're now going to simulate host 4 failing, and this can be achieved a number of ways. I'm going to physically pull the power cord, and we're going to watch what happens. So I've pulled the power cord, so what we'll see is a display freeze. So right now, the cluster is determining that the image has failed, the host has failed, and the host, another host needs to restart the image on another guest op, on another host. Okay, we'll notice now that the image has been restarted on a different host. In the background, vSphere is telling us that it's running on host 2. So Microsoft has brought up the shutdown event tracker because remember the image was actually restarted on another host. So I can put a comment in there. And let's go look at our trend. So our trend is populated now. We refreshed it with data. 
and we can see that roughly we have a gap of about 2 minutes 49 seconds. So to quickly recap what you've just seen, I demonstrated the failure of a physical host, but also a guest failure could be detected as well. So you, you can have application level monitoring or Windows operating system level monitoring. So it's beyond the scope of this video to go into all the different types of failures we can detect, but I demonstrated a host failure. So the workflow was that once a host failure was detected, the guest operating system was restarted on another host. So we saw it started on host 4, and at the end in the video it was on host 2. So this only caused a few minutes of downtime. So if your process can tolerate a few minutes of downtime, HA is a great tool to help you with your high availability needs. Thanks for your time.